Today I want to talk to you about cooking healthy by using cast iron pans and how to use them properly, how to clean them and care for them to keep them in good working order. I've stopped using these Teflon pans that are supposed to be those non-stick surfaces but notice that the finish gets scratched off. So what's happening to that Teflon finish? It's winding up in your food and you're eating it. So is that healthy for you? Probably not. Now I only use the cast iron. It doesn't have little pieces that come off and get into your food. And if anything does come off the food, it would be iron, a mineral that would be good for you. And if they're used properly, they also are a non-stick surface. They need to be properly seasoned. That means well oiled. Now before I put anything in the pan, I always heat it up first. Make sure it's good and hot before I put anything on the surface. Otherwise, the food that I put in it will soak up the oil and then it might stick to the pan. Just keep a lid on it and I have a little pastry brush there. So it's convenient to the stove. I'm always ready to oil. So I have my own convenience. It just doesn't come in a spray can with toxins. Okay, I think our pan is hot now. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs. Look how easily that just was from the pan. The pan is hot. Let's give it a second or two. I don't have any crust on my eggs and it's not sticking to the pan. A little bit, but that is a perfect scrambled egg. Egg soft, no crusty edges. And the pan just has a few little crumbs on it, which could easily just be wiped out without having to worry about washing the pan just little crumbs. I just dust them out. Then we'll just get a little bit of oil and oil it so that it stays nice and oiled and it will be ready for the next time the pan is used without really having to wash it. So we'll just keep it in its ready state. I have not had to wash these pans in several days now. If you use them correctly, now first I, I heat the pan up so it's, it's hot. Now I could scramble them or I could fry them. I think today I'm just going to fry them. You see how it will not stick to the pan?
and it's clean. We're ready for the next. So when the pan is used properly, there is no need to wash it afterwards. And so it just stays well oiled and nothing sticks to it. Now the problem is when you cook foods like sausage and bacon, last night I fried fish, so I'm going to have to clean this pan because it's got a bunch of junk on it. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Now you will hear differences of opinion. You know, they say don't use abrasive tools on your cast iron pans. They say don't use water. I'm sorry, there are times when you've got sausage, um, you know, fried foods like, like fish or bacon, and you're going to have some stuff, it's just not going to wipe off. So it's okay to use water. It is okay to use a Brillo pad to get that hard stuff off. The important thing is you do not let water stay on your pan. You never want a pan to sit and just let water soak in it for a while. You really want to just clean it up right away and then dry it with a paper towel or another rag. So you would want to dry both the inside, the outside, the handle. Just make sure that no water stays on the pan. Standing water will cause your cast iron pans to turn to rust. That's why you do not want to leave water on them. So dry them thoroughly. And then oil them after you're done drying. Just make sure the griddle is hot. It's well oiled. As pancakes cook, you see little air bubbles popping up all over them. When you see a good amount of air bubbles, then that means the other side is well enough cooked that you can turn it over. A healthy breakfast cooked on healthy cast iron pans and of course they're made with homegrown eggs from my chickens. <laughs> 